Good morning, Scorpios. Good morning, good morning. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot, and I am back to bring you guys another general quick reading. So I don't have any particular uh, questions for, uh, for you guys today from Spirit. So we're just going to jump in to see what it is that Spirit is wanting you guys to know at this current moment, okay? Peace, love, and light to you guys. I hope you guys are doing well here. All right, so let's jump into this energy, guys. <clears throat> good morning to everyone. Hope that you had a great week. Happy New Year's again to each and every one of you. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Definitely hit that subscription button and be caught a part of the Scorpio family here. All right. All right. Let's jump into this, guys. Also, if you would like a personal reading with me, all of my information is in my description box. Okay. I am open and available for personal readings. All right. Holy Spirit, I call upon you right now to draw me in this reading for my fellow Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is going on in their energy? What is it that they're needing to know? Please open up the spiritual portal, Holy Spirit, for Scorpios. What is it that they're needing to know at this current moment, Holy Spirit? Thank you. We have the Four of Water, which is the Four of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So there you go. What is the message here for Scorpios? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. We have the strength card in the reverse. Leo energy. <clears throat> what is the message for Scorpios? Thank you. We have the rebirth, which is the dove card. Scorpio energy. Okay. We also have the eight of swords in the reverse. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. Gemini energy. So I'm getting Leo, Scorpio, which is you, you're here, and Gemini energy. So with this four of water, it seems to me that you guys may be tired of someone's antics. You may be tired of someone's apologies here. You may be rejecting someone. Yeah. With the strength card here, you possibly feel like this person is coming off like a coward. They're not able to stand in their power, giving weak type of energy here, unable to tame themselves. We have the rebirth card, which is the death card, Scorpio energy. It seems to me that you have put an end to a situation with a person, place or, you know, family member or friendship here. We have the eight of swords in the reverse. So I feel like you're no longer worried about the situation anymore. You may not be conversing with someone. You're not overthinking the situation anymore after you have ended a cycle with someone because you possibly feel like this person is not able to tame themselves. Possibly in their pride and ego. This is someone that you may have considered as your twin flame. This person also could have made a choice to maybe deal with someone else. Put you in a third party situation. Wow. Tell me about the four of water. Tell me about the four of water. Why is that here for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Why is the four of water here, spirit? Yeah, I feel like you have rejected someone. You're tired of their antics. You're tired of the apologies. Yeah. We yeah, look at there. We have the tower, Scorpio energy in Aries. Yeah, this relationship, whatever this was, it was built off of a faulty foundation. There could have been a lot of lies, a lot of secrets here, betrayal, manipulation. So I feel like spirit jumped in and knocked down this relationship here because it wasn't built on a solid foundation. A lot of drama, a lot of chaos here. Tell me more. Four of water for Scorpio. Why is the four of water here for Scorpio? All right, so we have the nine of water. Wow, a lot of water energy here. You could be dealing with a fellow uh, Scorpio, maybe a Pisces or Cancer. The nine of water here. I feel like you think that this person is coming off as very selfish, only thinking about themselves, causing a lot of arguments, distractions here in your life. And this is why you may be tired of this person antics. You're kind of bored with them at this current moment. You're rejecting them because possibly all they do is cause drama and chaos and arguments within your life. You're feeling like this person is very selfish. Yeah, and they're very codependent. This could be a baby mother or some type of mother figure here that may have given some type of bad advice. Very low vibrational energy here. Wow. You're coming off as the queen of earth. You're very abundant. You're focused on your family, your children, your businesses. 
very fruitful within your energy. You're very loyal. You're very committed, reliable, trustworthy here. But looks like your partner was very codependent here. Pretending to be something that they're not. Not able to take care of themselves. And you're feeling like it's time for you to walk away from this person. With the Eight of Cups here. And with the Nine of Earth, you feel like you'd rather just be single, independent on your own. Enjoy the fruits of your own labor. Wow. Okay, Scorpio. Tell me about the Strength card. Why is the Strength card here for Scorpio? Tell me about the Strength card. Why is the Strength here in the reverse for Scorpio? All right, so we got more water energy here. Seven of water, which is also the Seven of Cups. Hmm. There's a lot, a lot of confusion here between you and this person. Like I said, this can be a fellow Scorpio that you're dealing with or um, another water sign, Pisces or Cancer. Wow, look at there, more energy. Six of water here. More water signs. Wow. So you guys are definitely showing up in your reading here. Back of the deck, we have the nine of fire here. So a lot of you guys, you're protecting yourself from this person is what I'm getting. You're feeling like this person could have took your strength and courage here. Someone here is not able to tame the beast within themselves. Pride, ego type of energy. With the seven of water, this person could have sold you a dream. Had you confused. Having other choices, options, and decisions here. Other women, other men living in this fantasy world. Six of water here. This is someone from your past. Someone here has definitely wanted to reconcile with you. But I feel like you guys are very guarded to this person. With the nine of air, this person left you having nightmares, sleepless nights, having anxiety, worry, and fear here. Wow. Hmm. It's like they're wanting to reconcile with you, but they bring too much confusion, delusions here, giving you this false reality, selling you a dream here. Now, you could have known this person since childhood. Hmm. This person could also be having memories of you, having nostalgia moments. All right, tell me about the rebirth, the death card energy. Tell me about rebirth. Thank you. We have the king of fire, which is the king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person could have been a charmer, using their good looks to get what they want from others. Yeah, tell me more. Tell me about the rebirth. I'm also getting this could be your energy as well, Scorpio. You're very mature. You know what you want. You're very passionate. When you put your all into something, you put your all here. We have the six of air in the reverse, which is the six of swords. I feel like this person is very passionate about you and looks like to me they're wanting to come back. Because I'm getting re reconciliation energy here. But this person is not able to tame themselves. They're not standing in their divine power, divine energy here. So I feel like you had to end things with this person who come up as like a Casanova. Who's very charming. Of course, very attractive here. It looks like this person is wanting to come back to you. Like I said, this can also be your energy where this person sees you as very mature, very attractive here. This person could have had a wake up call. They could be going through the death and a rebirth transforming themselves where they're still attracted to you here and now they're wanting to come back here you guys could also not be talking to this person five of earth yeah this person is definitely missing you knight of air they're coming in very quickly they would they have something to say they want to talk want to clear their case here five of air but this person may play a lot of mind games this could be a verbally emotionally or physically abusive relationship here hmm this person could also be coming back around just to play with your mind and heart. So definitely be careful with that. This could be an air sign. Trying to one-up you in some type of way. Hmm. But I feel like you guys feel like you're better off single from this person. You really don't need them for anything. Because right now you're getting a lot of victory, a lot of success. You get a lot of attention right now. Because you're starting to boss up into your own energy. King of Earth. You standing up for yourself. You guys are in this energy where you're being the protector, the provider for your family. Some of you guys can be business owners. You're very grounded, trustworthy, reliable. 
marriage material here. Yeah, and this person wants to come back to have a new beginning, passionate beginning with you. Yeah. You're coming off as very, very mature here. You know what you want out of life. You inspire others to go for their passions. Yeah. Tell me about the eight of air in the reverse. Why is the eight of air here? Thank you, spirit. Six of air. Excuse me. Six of earth. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Hmm. <clears throat> I feel like the scales were very unbalanced between you and this person. Maybe at one point there was an equal give and take, but then you feel like this person could be giving their time, energy, emotions, feelings to someone else. Hmm. This person could have breadcrumbed you in some type of way. But with that eight of air being in the reverse, I feel like you're coming out of your head about the situation. You're no longer overthinking, stressing out about this anymore, not feeling like you're in a mental prison. Yeah, I'm getting like this person could have bred from you. You gave more than what they was given to the relationship. Uh, tell me more about the eight of air. Eight of air in the reverse for Scorpios. Eight of air for Scorpios. Yeah, look at there. The knight of air came out again. Yeah, this person is definitely rushing in. They have something to say. They want to talk to you. They want to clear their name. They're definitely taking action to come back towards you. Possibly wanted to give an equal take, give ooh, equal give and take here. Yeah, look at there again. It's coming out. This person is missing you. Five of five of earth. They're definitely missing you here. They're still holding on to your energy with the four of earth. This person is possibly obsessed with you. With the devil energy, Capricorn energy, because they're very codependent on your energy here. Wow. Like I said, this could be a baby mother, baby father, someone who pretended to be something that they're not. They're not of divine light, divine love here. With the Hermit card here, I feel like you or this person, someone had time to sit back, heal, doing some introspection, reflecting over their choices and decisions in life. Someone is spending a lot of time alone here. Okay. This could be you or your person. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Yeah. This person is missing you. They're ready to come back into your life here. After a period of giving you all this confusion as energy. Selling you a dream, wanting to reconcile. But that strength card is kind of like the energy of they can't make it without you type of energy. But you're tired of their antics. You're tired of the drama, the arguments here. You're tired of this person being selfish. Yeah. All right, Scorpios. This is the message that I have for you guys. Peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. Um, the signs that I'm seeing here, um, I'm getting a fellow water sign. I'm getting Leo. Um, let's see. Possibly an air sign is definitely here be here. Aquarius Libra Gemini. Yeah. Possibly a Capricorn. Okay. All right, guys. So this is what I have for you today. Of course, I'll be back with more readings. Peace, love, and light to you guys. Again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and hit that subscription button. If you would like a personal reading with me, all of my information is down in the description box. Thank you so much, Scorpios, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.